Did you know that 60% of Americans don't have enough savings to cover a $1,000 emergency? Surprised? Well, hold on to your wallets. Today, we dive deep into the fascinating world of personal finance, and more importantly, how our behavior shapes it. We'll unravel the surprising statistics and the undeniable connection between your financial health and your habits. So if you're wondering why your piggy bank is always starving, stick around. Ever walked into a store for a carton of milk and walked out with everything but the milk? You're not alone. There's universal phenomenon that plagues us all. It's called the impulse purchase. Yes, those irresistible items strategically placed to catch your eye. They're the silent budget killers, the sneaky wallet snatchers. You know what I'm talking about. Those candy bars at the checkout counter, the discounted shoes you stumbled upon while shopping for groceries, or that novel gadget you never knew you needed until you saw it. Impulse buying is an intricate dance between our emotions and our wallets, and it's a dance that our wallets rarely win. Why is that? Well, it's all about instant gratification. We live in a world where we're all about the now, we want it fast, we want it easy, and we want it now. That's the psychological trap. You see something you like, it sparks joy, and voila, it's in your shopping cart before your rational brain can say, hold on a minute, do we really need this? But let's not just blame our brains. Retailers know our weaknesses all too well. They've mastered the art of influencing our buying behavior. From the moment we step into a store or land on a web page, we're being subtly nudged towards spending more. The sale signs, the limited time offers, the people also bought sections, they're all clever strategies designed to make us spend more. So what's the real impact on our personal finance? Well, those small impulse purchases might seem harmless at first, but they add up quickly. Imagine if you save that money instead. Over a year, those little expenses could amount to a significant chunk of your savings. Remember, a dollar saved is a dollar earned. So the next time you're tempted by that shiny object or that sweet deal, ask yourself, do I need this or do I just want this? Next time you're in a store, remember, you're not on a treasure hunt. If you found this financial insight helpful, don't forget to like this video and subscribe to our channel for more financial insights. We all dream of a fat savings account, but sometimes it feels like chasing a mirage in the desert. You know, there's a funny thing about savings. We all want to do it, but somehow it often ends up at the bottom of our financial to-do list. We tell ourselves, I'll start saving next month, or I'll save when I earn more. But let's be honest, those are about as convincing as a diet that starts tomorrow. It's interesting, isn't it? How we can be so confident about our future earnings. You might think you're being optimistic, but it's actually a form of overconfidence bias. You're betting on a future that you can't guarantee. It's like promising to water a plant with tomorrow's rain. Sure, it might pour, but what if it doesn't? Your financial health, like that plant, needs a steady stream of savings, starting now. Procrastination is another beast that loves to feast on our savings plan. It convinces us that saving can wait. But you know what doesn't wait? Emergencies. Life's little surprises. And let's not forget the ultimate unavoidable surprise, retirement. Procrastination might make us feel comfortable now, but it's setting us up for discomfort down the line. Now, you might be chuckling about the excuses we give ourselves, but let's face it, we've all been guilty of a few. I deserve this treat. I've been good with my spending. Or, I need this new gadget, it's an investment. Sounds familiar? These are just creative ways we justify neglecting savings. It's a bit like eating a donut and calling it a workout because, well, you did have to lift it to your mouth. But here's the thing. We're not looking for a magic lamp to solve our savings woes. We're looking for smart decisions, consistency, and a dash of self-control. It's about putting your future self before your present desires. Because at the end of the day, the most satisfying treat is financial security. Remember, saving money isn't about finding a magic lamp. It's about making smart decisions. Changing your financial behavior isn't like a bad haircut. It doesn't fix itself over time. Now that's a truth bomb if there ever was one. But don't fret, because we're here to help you turn things around. First things first, let's talk about the elephant in the room, budgeting. Yeah, it's as fun as a root canal, but just like that necessary dental work, 
it's crucial for your financial health. Think of it as your financial diet plan. You need to know what's coming in, what's going out, and where it's all going. And just like you wouldn't want to blow your diet on a dozen donuts, you don't want to blow your budget on unnecessary splurges. All right, now that we've got the budgeting down, let's move on to goal setting. This is where you get to dream big. Want to buy a house, plan a vacation, retire early? All of these require money, and goal setting helps you identify how much you need to save and how long it will take to get there. It's like your financial GPS guiding you towards your destination. But here's the kicker, folks. Just knowing the route isn't enough. You've got to stay on track. That's where self-discipline comes in. Think of it as the guardrails on your financial highway. It helps you avoid those nasty spending potholes and keeps you on the straight and narrow towards your financial goals. And hey, we get it. Changing behavior is tough. It's like trying to teach an old dog new tricks. But remember, every small change you make today can lead to big results in the future. So don't be discouraged if you don't see immediate results. Finally, don't forget to celebrate your victories, no matter how small. Paid off a credit card? Treat yourself to a movie night. Saved your first thousand? Go have a fancy dinner. Remember, the journey to financial freedom should be enjoyable, not a slog. So start your behavior makeover today, because your wallet deserves better. With a dash of discipline, a sprinkle of planning, and a generous helping of persistence, you'll be well on your way to a brighter financial future. Talking about personal finance can be as awkward as telling a joke that no one laughs at, but it doesn't have to be. I mean, imagine this. You're at a party, you've had a few, and you blurt out, hey, anyone want to talk about the credit score? Cue the crickets, right? But here's the thing, folks. We've all got money stories, triumphs, and facepalm moments. And sharing those stories can be as liberating as finding an extra 20 in your jeans on laundry day. Now, you may be thinking, why on earth would I want to share my finance mishaps? Well, ever heard the saying that a problem shared is a problem halved? It's not just about feeling better. It's about learning from each other's experiences. Imagine if you could avoid that investment pitfall because your friend Dave shared his misfortune of sinking all his savings into pet rocks. Yeah, you heard it right, pet rocks. But hey, it's not just about the blunders. It's also about sharing the wins. Maybe you've found a great way to budget or a side hustle that's really paying off. Sharing those nuggets of wisdom can help your friends, your family, and even that random guy from the party who's now seriously reconsidering his pet rock empire. Creating a safe space to talk about money where there's no judgment, only understanding and a willingness to learn can be incredibly empowering. It's like turning on a light in a dark room. Suddenly, those scary financial monsters under the bed don't seem so terrifying. So let's start breaking down those money taboos. Let's laugh at our mistakes, celebrate our wins, and learn from each other. Because personal finance isn't just about numbers on a spreadsheet. It's about our behaviors, our choices, and most importantly, our community. Remember, sharing is caring, even when it comes to money. So, we've laughed, we've cried, and hopefully, we've learned a thing or two about our financial behavior. We've taken a journey from the depths of our wallets, navigated through the perilous seas of spending sprees, and looked longingly at the mirage of savings. We've recognized the power of our behavior in shaping our financial future, and acknowledged that change, although challenging, is within our grasp. We've seen the impact of unchecked impulse purchases, and they can leave our wallets gasping for air. We've delved into the psychology behind our financial decisions, unearthing biases that often lead us astray. The fear of missing out, the allure of instant gratification, the comfort of procrastination, all these can steer us away from our financial goals. But we've also discovered that the road to financial freedom isn't just about dodging pitfalls. It's about embracing positive habits, setting realistic goals, and making informed decisions. It's about understanding that every financial choice we make, big or small, shapes our financial landscape. We've explored the value of the power of shared experiences and the comfort in knowing that we're not alone in our financial struggles. We've learned that our money story is not just ours to write, but ours to share, to inspire, and to learn from. So, 
The next time you're faced with a financial decision, ask yourself, what would my wallet do? Now, if you found this journey insightful, please give this video a thumbs up and subscribe to our channel for more enlightening content. Remember, a better financial future starts with a single click.